the National Weather Service has this scale from like one to 10 of the probability that there's going to be tornadoes that day. Today, they say is at a 10. We actually got two cars in the garage. We have a three car garage and most days we can barely get one car in the garage. When you're motivated for possibility of hail and severe weather, you can cram two in the garage, especially, especially this thing right here because we've already bought four of them and I'm not buying a fifth one. It feels like the wind is, is, is pretty strong. It's, the air is thick, um, it's warm. Uh, those are all, the only thing we're missing is the green sky. Green sky, that's bad. I saw on social media that one of the TV guys for the ABC affiliate actually had a trip uh, planned to Spain with his wife and he canceled it. So if he's doing that, um, could get interesting to me. It just occurred to me that if you're not from this area, this idea of like severe weather and this wall-to-wall -wall coverage of weather on television might be foreign to you, but in these parts, like we take our severe weather really, really seriously. We pay our weathermen apparently really well. We, they play with multi-million dollar toys. A lot of times they can like pinpoint tornadoes to like, you know, addresses. Like it's at the corner of, you know, you know the 7-Eleven, it's right next to it. Like they can pinpoint this stuff with such accuracy Severe weather, the coverage of it in like Oklahoma and these parts is like, if you're not from this area, it probably, it's, it's, it's a show. Like it's a whole thing is, is pretty incredible. Lots of wind in it, mesocyclone that is crafted right. This tornado is not visible right now. Okay, just something I, my wife just reminded me of is just to make sure that the trampoline is secured to the ground. We have these like, what you'd normally like screw into the ground to uh, like for like a dog leash and we use that to keep our trampoline from not like becoming a projectile. Uh, this is gonna be, look how fast that changed. Look how fast we went from, what, five minutes ago we're showing you winds? There it is. 58. Wild Horse Park, just north of Mustang. Wild Horse Park, damaging winds. That's literally where I live. Here the power outages. Yeah. Kaden! Time to go. Time to go. Hey, buddy. Max, this way. Come on. Max. Come on, Max. All right, say cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Power did not go out, but it did flicker. Maybe 40 to 50 mile per hour winds that lasted about 30 seconds, then it was over, and now it's a, a northwest wind, 25, she says. Okay. All right, that got real for a second. Oh my word. Like, I'm just sitting there, just kind of relaxed in the chair, and all of a sudden they said that there was kind of a spin up, it's just that came out of nowhere, that is probably a five minute drive from where I'm at, as far as like southwest of here, heading our direction. And I was like, okay. It's, it's go time. But as far as any like tornadic activity, it looks like that is all all to the east of us. So now it's just like riding out the storm. So we still have a chance of maybe of hail and like like really strong uh, winds. I mean, it's still something. And there's still a chance that we don't have power by the end of the night. There's a lot of people in our area. We're already starting to get like text messages from people that we know saying that their power went out. And so we're not, we're not done yet.